Hello everybody, you're watching Curious Pavo and today we are talking about Big Ben. More specifically, where did the name came from? So, you are in London, for sure. One of the top three things you want to see are London Eye, Buckingham Palace, and Big Ben. Big Ben is probably the most famous landmark, not just in London, but in the whole UK. And it's still probably the most misunderstood one. Why? Because Big Ben is not the name of the clock, it's not the name of the tower, Big Ben is the name of the Great Bell inside the tower. What I mean by the Great Bell is the tower inside has one big bell, Big Ben, and four small bells that chime on each quarter of an hour, which means 15, half an hour, 45 minutes. So where the name comes from? Nobody knows. I'm not joking, nobody knows. They're just theories, so it's not for sure. So the first theory is that the bell is named after Benjamin Kahn, who was a heavyweight boxing champion. The second theory, which is more developed, is the name is named after Sir Benjamin Hall, who was a commissioner of work. He was doing, um, he was working on the bell while they were building the tower. So here, this theory is more developed. People have more imagination on this one. I like going on walking tours. There's good and bad things about these tours. The good things, it's a lot of information. The bad thing, not everything is true. So one of them they say, this is the story. Benjamin was a big guy and he was obsessed with the bell. So he was talking all the time about the bell. One day he stood in the parliament and he was talking for two hours about the bell, how difficult to hang and all this stuff. And then in the end he said, so the only thing that remains is to how decide how to name the bell to which one of the guys stands up and says well you're almost big as the bloody bell why don't we call it big Ben? ha 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 the other one is at the opening of the tower benjamin hall went up with other journalists and mps minister of parliament and when he went up there are 334 steps he was sweaty tired, out of breath, leaning at the bell, to which one of the journalists turned to him, saw him, turned to the rest of the crowd and said, perhaps we should call this bell Big Ben because they are roughly the same size. <laughs> and the third theory, which I believe the most, is Benjamin, it was on the bell, it was engraved. Benjamin. So the bell is stationary. It stays in one place. It's not moving. There's a hammer striking the bell all the time. Before they insert the bell in the tower, they were testing it every day in front of the tower. So all the workers who are testing it is like Benjamin, Benjamin, Big Ben, Big Bell, Big Ben. That's where it came from. choice what to believe but next time when you speak with somebody about, about Big Ben you can show some knowledge I hope you like this video I really hope you like it I really hope you share it so please do please subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs>